So we have the vinegar for like a sour. Mm -hmm. We've got to mm -hmm. balance that. Mm -hmm. So we're using coconut nectar. Okay. Now you could use agave nectar, raw agave nectar. Mm -hmm. I like coconut nectar. It's just coconut is just superior. So um, lower glycemic index. Let's see that in there. You always add your sweet, and there's always a healthy sweet. Yes, always. Okay. There's so many ways to get healthy sweets from dates. Like in our cashew nog, we did not add sugar. We use dates, whole dates. And that adds the sweetness. Whole well, dates have lots of nutrients, magnesium, all kinds of things that you need anyway without just dumping a bunch of white sugar in there. So there are a lot of ways to get it. You see me, I'm like, I gotta get my sweet. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, we use, in the, even in the sweet potato pie, we use coconut sugar, which is a lower glycemic index. It's very good. So you're getting food that's not gonna spike your blood sugar. All right. All right, and okay. then we can mix that. We'll just pretend they're ginger. Yeah, put water in the water. Here, oh, we've got a little bit of water in already. Oh, yeah. All right, it's a tab. It's and a tab our imaginary ginger is in yeah. there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but tell me, while, while I'm doing this, ginger is one of those fresh herbs that, that do so much, almost like the garlic. Tell us about that while I believe this up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's for this dish, it, brings, it kind of brings out quite a bit of flavor. I'll let you blend it. thicken a little as you let it sit. It'll thicken up so um, like that. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I, would you like to taste? Let's see where it's sure, sure, <laughs> sure, 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 sure. So we've got, all right, so what you have here, and I'll let them get a close up. We've got our, our dipping sauce and our um, collard green wrap. So this is like super healthy dish. It's going to give you a lot of protein. So for those who worry about protein, where do you get your protein? Right here in my hands. Um, you got your omega-3 fatty acids, you got your fiber, you got your carbohydrates as well from the fruit. So you really have a balanced meal right here. Now if I didn't have this fancy blender at home, mm -hmm. could I still do this? Yes, you could. Absolutely. It blends in a regular blender as well. You probably want to soak the hemp seeds mm -hmm. as well and drain those make it a little easier mm -hmm. and you gotta dip it in the sauce dip it in the sauce see for you all this is how she did it the first time growing up as and becoming a chef i thought i knew everything when it comes to food i had two brothers and sisters and so when she was like try this like, okay i've had everything so yeah. i'm so gonna this tell is you first time this is my this first time trying this good. okay all right Your honest reaction all right cool <laughs> So all the, we put our collard greens to such a trouble. Yeah, <laughs> we do. We cook them you for know. like, I used yeah. to make my greens like that. Like you, like at least 45 minutes to yeah. three hours. Yeah. Yeah. As if it takes that long to get flavor into a leaf. It doesn't. It really doesn't. When I, when I do cook collard greens, 15 minutes max. Yes. Saute, yes. they're bright green, they still have their nutrients, and they're not dead. Food. Um, and so when you're eating it raw, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting everything. Okay, your so question. when you're cooking them for uh, raw, what do you, you said you saute them, what do you uh, saute them with? Like um, garlic, coconut oil, a little onion, probably a little coconut aminos. Sometimes I use um, uh, sun-dried tomatoes. I got this recipe from my friend uh, Tracy McQuitter. She got a great book. So I, she uses garlic and sun-dried tomatoes. I love that recipe. Um, really quick, no more than 15 minutes. 10 minutes is about it. You cut them in the ribbons, put it in your pan, and it's ready to go. So we don't have to do that three hour, <laughs> long, watch the pot kind of thing. It's totally not necessary. And it's better for you to it. I mean, it would add such a wonderful color on your plate when you saute that, um, rather than boiling it. And even if you are used to boiling, 
Mm -hmm. Boiling you them. Mm -hmm. Reduce your water on it. Mm -hmm. Don't put in, don't put the grain you wanna in drink, a huge You want to have that water because yeah. a lot of the nutrients are in the water, the vitamin K and all that. Mm -hmm. It's in the water of the whatever you boiled. So if you mm -hmm. use less water, you can kind of, you know how you just do with your collard greens and your uh, cornbread and kind of sop it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to do that because there's nutrients in that. Would that be pot liquor? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is phenomenal. This is wonderful. Yeah, I mean, and it's something. Good question. Good question. Oh, yes. I was just going to say, um, what's the consistency of the sauteed greens when you're done? Are they going to be soft or are they going to have a crunch? They are going to be soft. It's not going to have a crunch. It's okay. still going to be relatively soft. It's going to have more of a. Um, it's going to be stronger bite than when they've been cooked for. Okay. You know, where they're just falling yeah, apart. Sure. Um, so yeah, it's you're gonna have to chew a little bit, but it's not like right. forever and ever. <laughs> and you control that also during the sauté process. Mm -hmm. if you, if you, you can massage it first. Now I do like a raw collard green dish where mm -hmm. you cut it in ribbons. You put a sauce. I usually just actually literally massage it. Mm -hmm. it brings out the essential oils in the greens and makes it softer. Okay. You can also do that if you're gonna sauté it and it'll make it even softer. Yeah. Cook it less. Yeah. I have another question. Yeah, it's fresh. Basil, it's not available. Can you use the dried basil? Mm-hmm. You can. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe a little more lemon juice that kind of brightens it up when you're not using fresh basil. So yes, you can. Question. Okay, he's like, no right. <laughs> Well, I'm feeling good. Yeah. And I was You want one more? You want more? You want more? Sure. More yeah. fruit. <laughs> so we are going to um, break in a moment and okay. then folks here are gonna get to have some. Do we have any online? Questions or anything? I have a question. Okay, here's the question. You said you soak the um, hemp seeds, and how long? How long do you soak? Usually them? two hours for soaking to overnight. So if you have time and you've thought about it in advance, go ahead and let it sit overnight, room temperature. Um, but if you just have a couple of hours, that'll help too, quite a bit. Um, and then what, I'm going to talk a little bit about. You have the recipes how to make our other dishes. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. for example, our butternut squash soup, which is what we're going to start with in just a moment. Um, very easy. We just got a great a butternut squash. Chop it up. Um, put it in your sauté in a big stock pot with some onions, garlic, and sauté that for a little bit. And the other seasoning, coconut milk. I love coconut milk. Again, it's a great milk, but it brings out the creaminess. A lot of times, you think when you're eating vegan because you're not having dairy, you're not going to get that creamy feel. Coconut milk helps with that. So this is very creamy as if it had <coughs> yeah. milk, but great texture, yeah, it's good a great color milk. and everything. Right, and mm -hmm. so um, you let that saute for about 15-20 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, with all your seasonings that are listed there. Um, and then if you have a hand blender, like an immersion blender, mm -hmm. just put it right in the pot and mix it up and you're ready. If you don't, you kind of um, put it in batches into your blender and be careful if it's hot and then blend it that way and it's ready. So this is about a 30 minute soup or less, you know, depending on how fast you can chop up the butternut squash. You can even get frozen organic butternut squash mm -hmm. to make it quicker mm -hmm. if you don't have time to go get the whole thing. So it's just ways you can make this quick and easy. It's fun. Um, yeah. I'm having fun. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do is like, what can you do that really um, stays healthy but doesn't take all day? Yes. So yes. that's why I make the soups like this and things like that. So, and then we added curry powder um, a, a, a kick that gives you that kick, that gives you that more depth of flavor. Is there an advantage to purchasing all of your seasoning? I notice yours is organic. Mm -hmm. Should we stick with the organic seasonings? Because I have a ton of all the other ones in mine. I would absolutely use organic yeah. seasonings. Because okay. you're using them over and over and over and again. Okay. It's definitely worth the, um, the investment, especially for something you're using repeatedly. Yeah. Now, if you thought having her come to my refrigerator and exit things out, like my friend back here, when we went shopping together, that was fun. Because even though we went to the, you know, I had to pull my, my I had to pay for everything. Right. <laughs> it was really learning that I can't eat healthy. Because a lot of times, you know, you think about, well, you know, does my checkbook allow me to take care of myself? Mm -hmm. Going shopping with her let me realize that it, I can do that. I can afford to feed myself quality food, and I can afford to do it in a way that I can invite a friend over also. Mm -hmm. Talk about right. places. Yeah, well, when you buy, um, a lot of times you buy in the bulk section, mm -hmm. which we went, we like butternuts and our beans and uh, grains. If you buy those in the bulk section, they're cheaper. 
So you can save quite a bit of money there. And then produce, you want to spend most of your time in the produce section anyway. That's not that expensive. I mean, you've got to buy produce anyway. So it's just, you know, buying the right kind. Now, we went to one of the local health food stores. You can go to farmer's market and get some cheaper stuff sometimes. Sometimes they have the, um, the uh, Shares like the, where you get um, food, you go and get it every yeah, co-ops every two weeks or whatever. And sometimes you can share that with someone, especially if you're single, it might be too much. But if you split it in half, then it's not that expensive. I've done that too, and it forces you to cook different stuff because you not, kind of don't know what you're going to get all the time. Um, so it's it's very affordable. If you stay away from the the packaged. Like vegan food, that take that's what costs a lot. Yeah. yeah so there's like three burgers for ten dollars. <laughs> it's like you know, you know. So you can make your own with like um, beans and sweet potatoes. Yes. And then make a whole batch of them and freeze it yourself. You know, sometimes it takes a little pre-planning, but you can freeze a lot of stuff so that you just have it to go. And that I'm glad you said that. And, and that's why it's important for us to come together like this. So often, I know I'm cooking for, again, I had 10 brothers and sisters. So if I'm cooking <laughs> for my family, I realize that my sister might take it to her house, or my brother might pick some up for his two kids, whatever the case may be. Yeah. But here's a community now. So you don't have to just go to the supermarket for yourself, <coughs> or not even go to the market. Go to our farmers. We have a lot of farm um, communities and co-ops here that we need to really engage them. Mm -hmm. One more thing, mm -hmm. stay away from the owls. Mm -hmm. Because I realized that when I start going into those owls, mm -hmm. I'm not just seeing all the different Absolutely. colors, <laughs> I'm also seeing the price right. tags going. Mm -hmm. So yeah. fresh food around the borders, mm -hmm. and you have to go into those stores. Mm -hmm. But the fresh food <laughs> better. Absolutely, and they all say, I work with a physician, um, so, you know, if it has a commercial, don't buy it. <laughs> I actually believe because they spend millions of dollars with their saving because they're giving you cheap food, yeah. spend all the money on advertising to get you to addicted and buying it. So, you know, save yourself. Do you have on your website a list of these farmers or these co-ops that you're talking about that we could... Go to um, that's a good idea. I don't have that on my website. I do have a lot on my website, so thanks for bringing that up. Oh, <laughs> I have a lot of recipes on the website. In addition to these, you'll find all kinds of raw recipes and obviously the videos that I do and tips for your top 10 health habits and upcoming events. How far, great question. Oh, sorry. How far in advance are you planning your meals? Because that seems to be where I'm falling off. Like, I would love to have something with the nuts, but then it's like, oh, I forgot to soak them. So, you got, so, you got notes, nuts sucking off, so, so, okay. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> um, so how far in advance do I plan? It depends. Now, some things I consider staples, like lemons, nuts, apples, these things I just always have in my house. So I'm always going to have some walnuts, cashews, almonds somewhere. They keep for a long time. Mm -hmm. So um, generally, I try to think at least the night of what I'm going to eat that day. So even if you don't have all day, if you're going to work, you can soak them right and go. Um, if you got two hours, you can soak it. If you only have an hour, just put it in really warm water and then use it. You know. So it's can I, not. Can I tell a, them the secret? What's the See, secret? On Sundays after service, you call her up and you come over. When she comes over, you want to cook, and I'm going to cook enough food on my Sunday for a couple of days. That so true. I have her here. I'm not. You know, is the best yeah. way to And do then it. so I know for sure. Like the shells and the greens, all these things are fresh. Yeah, you have to it. plan for those. Yeah. Um, you know, but you always want to have some mixed greens or something that you need to eat and don't let it go bad. And I'm buying these mixed greens because they're going to be gone by the end of the week. So come on over. So, we're going we're gonna to have dinner together. That's why we said before you leave, get to know someone else who's trying to eat healthy and come together and, and break bread. You'll change your life. So yeah, I would definitely plan for like on the weekends, at least for a few days okay. of what you're going to do and make it on Saturday and Sunday a few recipes and then you can just add like salads or some sauteed asparagus or something to the main thing you already made. Okay. Yes, sister. Um, I noticed that when making some of the recipes, water is required. Do you suggest a quality of water like some, some people recommend distilled or alkaline or Mm -hmm. What's your take on that? Good question. So she asked about, do you recommend a certain type of water? Um, yes, I, I do basically just a triple filtered water. Um, and so I do recommend not drinking tap water, um, but filtered. If you can filter the tap water, then that's fine. 
Um, some people, you know, I haven't settled on what's the best yet because there's so many different research Brands. methods <laughs> out there. But still, is really good. It's, it's supposedly the most pure because it's the steam, but you leave out the um, the, the minerals, and so you you have a trade-off there. And then there's spring water that has the minerals, but maybe not as pure. So I tend to just do a filtered water um, that kind of has those minerals as well. Um, so that's you know that's but some some filtration is definitely necessary. All right. Okay. So when we think about it, how we looking? We're looking good. Before you all move, Dr. Lathan, I would like for you to take a essay with your audience. Oh, all right. Oh, great idea. <laughs> you got it? Okay, I think I got it. Just stay right there. Oh, turn oh, around. Right, just turn around? Oh, okay. Hold it I up. I have to do this off. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you want to take you gotta, several. Gotta, can I do it like this? Yeah. yeah. Wait, okay. okay, I'll hold it. All okay, right. we're going to say, can we, get, can we get everybody else in? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two. Three. Vegan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one more. We'll move it over some. Okay. Okay. And then the other way. Do one this side. Yeah, show it. We're going to turn around this way. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, put, put the chest. Want to do it straight up? And yeah, exactly. Yeah, do it that way. Oh, cool. All right. I thought oh, we were going to get in this side. Okay. Yeah, do, do that side again. Do that side, okay. 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 So, yeah, okay. Yeah, the same thing. Oh, and then you'll turn it Yeah, that is good. There you go. Another photographer. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay. Cheese. All right. All right. No, you got to do this side. Oh, let me do this side. Did you get every, were you all in the shot? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, all right, okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. There you go. You put it in the front. Okay. Thank you. I'll send it to you. All right. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. you didn't do outside. Okay, cool. We got to get you outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did we get the There we go. Okay, great. Right. You put the button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, perfect. Well, I hope you guys have learned something. Got questions? I have a, okay. two questions. Okay. One is, um, I eat a lot of vegetables, but I do eat some meats. But I like cheese, so if, that's going to be hard for me to give up. And I have had some uh, vegan cheese, but not mm -hmm. So which right. one should I try? It might try. be better. So I was like you when I thought of going vegan. I was like, I can't live without cheese. But um, and I've had some of the cheeses in the store. They weren't really good at all. So I do my own. There are so there's one brand. Um, Dea is kind of the best one that I like that's store bought. But I prefer to make my own with cashews. So I do my own fettuccine sauce. I do my own cashew sauce. I do my own for my kale chips. Mm -hmm. Just usually with cashews, bell pepper, lemon, uh, nutritional yeast. It depends on what flavor you're going for. Um, but it, it's very easy to just blend it. Um, you don't put as much water, and it solidifies a little bit once it sits in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Usually out of the blender, it's like a dipping type of a cheese. Mm -hmm. um, so I do my own pizza with my own cheese. It tastes a lot better than the store-bought. And those so, are the things you can actually have. So when you come home and you want to add that Yeah, not it'll last for at least yeah. a week in your mm -hmm. refrigerator once you make it. Um, so, so, And then, like I said, the brand I mentioned, that one's actually pretty decent when you don't have time to like make your own cheese but you can the secret is to stop eating it for at least like a month and then you you lose the flavor of taste for it. Yeah. I mean, so make like your that, own because your yeah. taste buds change oh, yeah. and and because once I stopped eating cheese and went back it was nasty to me and this is someone who loved cheese so now it doesn't even it doesn't phase me so because the taste buds change to something more natural so just stop all together cold turkey for at least 28 days, mm -hmm. your taste buds will change. Try the vegan, you know, the day uh, or make your own, and it will be you know, really good. And my second question mm -hmm. was, I like dry beans. So how do you prepare them? Dry beans? Yeah, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. soak them. You do yeah. soak them. That helps take down the enzyme inhibitors too for even beans, and then just cook them as normal. <coughs> you do have to cook beans a little bit longer because yeah. they need to get soft. But what soaking about helps. Seasoning? Um, you make it. Instead of bacon? <laughs> I don't do bacon. Did you say bacon? I don't do pork. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's no, good. 
you use, um, you know, the old-fashioned way, bay leaves, garlic, onions, um, sometimes a little coconut aminos will add a little flavor too, a little cayenne, um, you, a lot of stuff you can put in there. Um, and when you think about your beans, think about your overall meal also too. What are you going to really pair that bean with? Because you want to make sure that like a good symphony, your, your food kind of blends in together. It not only looks good together, but it complements each other as it actually becomes a part of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're eating like, oh, I love this. And you eat some, oh, I love this too. And then eating with friends makes everything taste better. That's true. Okay. Like what do you put in your beans? Again, I, I'm, I'm one of those guys that when it comes to who's coming over. Mm -hmm. So if I know it's into some spices, mm -hmm. or I love the barbecue. Mm -hmm. So I would throw some barbecue seasoning in, mm -hmm. into some navy beans, and yeah, just a pan or one, even, even my black beans. Mm -hmm. So I know it's, it's some, some of my Jamaican or Islander friends in, and I know I gotta give them a kick to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't miss the... The pork and the no, beans. They don't. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have another question? Yeah, my question is about appliances. What are some, like, if you are want to make the transition to, you know, um, cook vegan and raw, mm -hmm. um, what are some good appliances you recommend, like juicers? What are some good, good juicer stuff? I recommend, like, three things if you're going vegan, especially raw. You mm -hmm. need a food processor, mm -hmm. you need a good blender, um, and a juicer is good too really good. Like, so the brand, uh, I wish I was getting paid. <laughs> so uh, I love the Omega um, juicer. You want a masticating juicer. So anything instead of the centrifugal. So masticating juicers, any of them, but I prefer that particular one because it's easy to clean, which is important because if it takes forever to clean, you're not going to use it. Like so, yeah, so that's, that's one. So any masticating juicer, but particularly the Omega I like. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I love the Vitamix and it's an art, yeah. Do you dehydrate at all? Um, I don't. I don't have the patience for dehydration. The question was, do I dehydrate? So I like to eat my food, like, soon. Um, so I just generally do recipes that don't really require the dehydration. Um, but I've had dehydrated foods and they're fine. Um, and it's so, a good machine. That it's a good. It's a good thing to have because again, you might be a snacker, and I have friends with snackers. Like crunchy. Things. Oh yeah, and yeah. yeah that's yeah. really good mm -hmm. if you like the crunchy stuff and, and you're kale doing raw because you miss that. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you can do kale chips and you turn down your oven like as low as it'll go, and maybe like some go to 170. So it's really low, so you're not putting that much heat to it, and then you can even turn it off and let it just cook that way. Yeah. Especially if you have little ones, the pineapple chips and things like that. I mean, so. Please do don't don't spend a lot of money. You know, don't don't go at first. Yeah, because yeah, I yeah. have my regular twenty dollar blender it worked fine for years. But once you want to upgrade, you can do that. So don't think you have to spend a bunch of money on a bunch of expensive stuff. Um, food processors you can get for thirty dollars too. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to spend a lot. Okay. Yes. Um, I was gonna ask, like, what type of wraps do you recommend if you want to do like a breaded wrap? Mm -hmm. Um, and I wanted to know if you use, I think it's called Nane Shuyu, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. raw. Right, right. It's like another type of a soy sauce. So she asked what kind of wraps do we use? Do I use if you want like raw breaded type thing and do I use the Nama Shuyu? Um, yes, so I use coconut wraps a lot. Um, they call them paleo wraps. They're just coconut wraps. So um, that has a nice um, flavor, and you can put your hummus dip and make whatever. You could make this with a coconut wrap. So this is just another conduit for that. Um, they also have like a basil wrap with flax. Not as good, I think, as coconut, but it's another option. Um, and then I do use the Nam Show You. It's just like another type of a natural soy sauce. So, yeah, that adds a lot of flavor. One of the things you're going to find that when we sit down and finally eat together, which we're going to be transitioning to that soon, Yeah, right? yes we are. We want to continue the dialogue. Yeah. Um, so cooking together is awesome, but eating together, I believe, is even more fun. So, how are you, how you doing? You all right? I'm good. How are we looking a lot? Awesome. Good. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I think we, I think we have good. another question okay. right here. So so we have two question, more questions. Yeah, my yes, question yes. is, if someone wanted you to come to their family or their church or their organization to do this kind of demonstration, are you available to do those kinds of things? Say it again! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, can you want to tell her, can you answer that question? Or, yeah. Yes. 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 Come home, office.
Baptist churches, yes, we would love to come. So I'll repeat it for those who couldn't hear <laughs> online. So the question was, uh, do I come to people's homes or churches, and, and how do I do that? So on my website, you can get my email address, ruby at rubylathan.com, and send a request, and I'm happy to do that. Um, and so, yeah, I do do that all the time, and I'm happy to do it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So our, our kitchen folks are saying it's time to eat. <laughs> so we're going to take one more question. question. Okay, cooking oils. I noticed you use a lot of coconut oil. Another meat I know of says safflower oil, which you didn't seem to be too crazy about just now. I use canola oil. Action. <laughs> sorry, our final question is a good question, and we'll we'll all be around. We can talk more. Um, what's the best cooking oil, or which one should you use? I think canola. Oil, I mean, canola. She said canola. Do not use canola oil ever. It's the worst oil. Period. It's very inflammatory. It, it, I think in Canada it's even banned. They use it like for car oil or something. So let's like not use canola oil and don't buy ingredients that have canola oil in them, which will mean you'll start buying healthier. In food because they use that because it's a very cheap oil and it's inflammatory. So get rid of canola, stick with coconut and olive. Um, if you're going to cook, I recommend coconut. If you're going to use it raw, coconut or olive oil or grapeseed oil is fine. Those are really good in those um, omega-3 fatty acids as well. You don't want to cook olive oil. That kills a lot of the nutrients and it takes it to more of an unhealthy oil even though people do it all the time. It's meant to be eaten raw. And, and if you have a dish that needs olive oil, saute it in water and then add the olive oil once you take it off the heat and you still get that flavor. So, and then use less of it. What's the best olive oil to buy? So the best olive oil is just any extra version olive oil in a dark container. Because if you want it in a dark container, it maintains more nutrients. So there's no particular brand that's the best. They had a list when they did some research online that I can't remember the brands, but you want it in a dark container and you want an extra virgin cold press. So notice this in the room. We're about to eat together. Mm -hmm. Those of us who are trying to not only eat healthy, but live healthy, right? Yeah. Those of us who really want to engage and learn more, this is the time over dinner to talk and to share. Dr. Ruby, you make it look so easy. And I know we can call you at any time because you're family and friends. But can you all help me give her a round of applause?